बहुत ऐतिहासिक फैसला है जो लोकतंत्र के ऊपर बहुत असर डालेगा क्योंकि आज तो हम देख रहे थे कि इलेक्शन कमीशन बिल्कुल सरकार के इशारों पर नाच रहा था और उसका एक कारण ये था कि सरकार जिसको चाहे बना देती थी डी यू वॉन्डर हाउ द इलेक्शन कमीशन इज इलेक्टेड इन द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड A new Supreme Court order has changed the way election officials are appointed. As of now, the central government essentially had a free hand in appointing these officials. But now, the Prime Minister, leader of opposition in Lok Sabha, and the Chief Justice of India must pick the Chief Election Commissioner and the Election Commissioners. Let's look at what the judgment entails. But for this, we have to go back to 2015 when a petition was filed challenging the constitutionality of the present appointment process for the CEC and the ECs. The petition said that the appointments were being made based on whims and fancies of the executives. The petitions argued that unlike the appointments of the CBI director or Lokpal, where the leader of the opposition and judiciary have a say, the center unilaterally appoints the members of the ECI. The case was referred to a larger bench for a closer examination of Article 324 of the Constitution, which deals with the mandate of the Chief Election Commissioner. Article 324 of the Constitution does not lay down a specific legislative process for the appointment of CEC and ECs. The president makes the appointment on the advice of the Union of Council of Ministers headed by the Prime Minister. This is subject to the provisions of any law being made by the parliament. The court found that while there was a provision, there is no law on appointment of the CEC even after 70 years of independence. So this decision came into effect by a five-judge constitution bench who held that this norm would continue to be in effect until a law on issue is enacted by the parliament for more informative videos like this keep watching india today news mo